What's up guys? So I've been trying to do more uh, more diagnostic videos and things like that and hands-on and you know tips and tricks videos. I got this uh, 2008 or 2009 Chevy Colorado customer. Uh, it was actually in the lot this morning but she called me she called me a few hours ago talking about she was driving along all of a sudden reduce engine power message track states you know service stability you know it's stuff that I've heard before I've dealt with this before um, I have a feeling I know what it is um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing pulled in catch you in a minute Right, guys so I just pulled it in obviously check engine lights on it's only got about 62,000 miles on it 62,652 um, seems to rev up good I didn't want to take it for a test drive because I don't want it to reduce engine power and go into lip mode on me next you know break down but let me get the scanner get this thing uh, get this thing scanned real quick I just grab the pocket scanner see what the codes are on it real fast all right, guys, so I got my trusty little pocket scanner launch. Let's get this thing powered up. Keys on. So we got a 2135. What else? And then uh, permanent 2135. Throttle position, throttle pedal position, sensor switch A, B, voltage correlation. So, uh, <laughs> another throttle issue. Um, basically, this code is uh, it's a correlation code. So, obviously, the pedal, the pedal assembly, and the uh, throttle, the throttle position sensor isn't matching. So that'll obviously, being a safety feature, that'll obviously put it in limp mode. I've actually, guys, I got a Tahoe. I've actually dealt with this code before um, on this. Actually, I think there might be a recall or something on this, too. Um, let's check under the hood real quick. All right, guys. So just a quick peek under the hood. I'm actually going to go check uh, Identifix, check this for a recall or a technical service bulletin. For some reason, I remember this being an issue. I've dealt with this, I think, on a, uh, a Cadillac before um, with this throttle body. But just make sure everything's plugged in and all that stuff. There's not really too much to that throttle body. Let's check Identifix real quick. All right, guys. So I got Identifix pulled up. I put the car information in. I always like to check the common uh, or top searches on it and I do see the code right here 2135 so click on that search I want to say this is something with the throttle body um, engine control module throttle body obviously always some kind of thing but you know what let's check uh, TSB recalls right here. Twenty-one thirty-five. Here we go. Special coverage adjustment, December sixteenth, two thousand thirteen, and then they ran it again for the reduced engine power on October seventh, two thousand fifteen. And mileage-wise, she—I know she's covered. I don't 2009 I don't she's right at the 10 year mark Buick Enclave Regal Impala Malibu Colorado so yeah this is something that is covered um, special cover this special coverage covers the condition described for a period of 10 years or 120,000 miles so she's she's definitely at the mileage and you know it's only 2018 so she's within the 10 years also the service part number 
2135 DTCs, all the codes, current history, no further action required. Inform the customer that any additional diagnosis or repairs are not covered. Obviously, if they're just taking care of these codes and that's it, we only have the 2135 in here. Um, and then here's the repair procedure for it. They use Hitachi. I thought it was Bosch. I thought it was... Huh. Um... Use the following steps to replace throttle covers. So handle electronic blah blah blah. Remove throttle body. And they show pictures here. So yeah, it looks like they just replaced the uh the position sensor in it, not the whole throttle body. So this one this one's probably covered, guys. Sorry about that. That's uh probably good news for the customer. I'm gonna go ahead and get her a call and let her know that this is something that's covered to call our dealership all right but yeah if you guys are ever wondering about recalls and stuff like that identifix you know one of the main things i use this thing for is just checking for you know tsbs sometimes how to get a monitor to you know do its uh cycle reset so yeah guys, just pulled out to Colorado. Just wanted to close this one out. You know, it's 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 something, you know, Identifix, if you guys are using, using Identifix, I mean, it's a, it's a great source for information like that. Um, you know, I use it a lot to check for TSBs, you know, check for recalls, get recall numbers, you know, campaign numbers and all that stuff um, before I call a dealership and find out. But, you know, it's it's, it's just something you know you you look good to the customer you know hey i did that extra step yeah you might i might not have been able to sell her a throttle body but you know and even if i did and she we found out she could have got reimbursed through gm but you know me calling her up and saying you know something's covered you know you look like a hero you be honest with the customers you know it's that's going to come around you know for the next time and you know and she won't think twice by spending money with me the next time around or you know she won't think twice about telling her friends you know to come here and word of mouth business and things like that so um you know i'm pretty happy i found it you know i've dealt with that before like i said i i know those throttle bodies i know the issues with them i know some of the codes in there so you know i kind of I, when I pulled it in, I had a feeling it was going to be a throttle body problem. Um, didn't know it was going to be something that was covered. So I'm glad, you know, Identifix is a great source. And not just Identifix, Mitchell, All Data, whatever you guys are using, you know, all the information is at our fingertips, you know. It's uh, all it takes is a Wi-Fi signal, you know. It, all it takes is having internet. So, you know, just something uh, put out there, you know, internet is another great tool I use. You know, it, it's, it's, it's part of my arsenal of tools. Using the information online, things like that to make your job quicker or, you know, get that car done faster. Whether it's looking up a scope spec on something, you know, what a scope signature looks like or looking up a TSB or looking up a belt diagram on something that you know maybe a belt popped off you're not sure how the belt diagram is it's all all great information at our fingertips you know Google too so um, but yeah guys just wanted to close this one out we'll get them next time um, she's pretty happy about it I told her to have it towed to the dealership just in case but just wanted to close out this video as always like comment subscribe and we will check you guys in the next one signing out